Good morning everybody and welcome to our week three of our live workouts. So today is another upper body workout. So um, you're going to need dumbbells and again if you can use a chair or a table or something to do some one arm rows. Hi Jane. Um, so today we are going to be doing chest press and chest fly, shoulder press and tricep overhead hammer curl, one arm row and upright row and hopefully finishing off with some burpees. So let's get some music started. Okay, and let's get started. Okay, so feet shoulder width apart, abs in nice and tight. Let's just give a small shoulder roll. Knees with the elbows, let's sit nice and small to begin with. Remember, abs are nice and tight, shoulders back, legs bent. Good, four more, four, three, two, and relax it there. Now let's open up the chest, so squeezing through those shoulder blades, leading with both the elbows, that's it, pushing that chest out, opening up the chest, squeezing through the back. Good. Four, three, two, and take those arms into a diagonal. So opening up through that chest. Good, good, good. Abs in. Four more. Four, three, two, and one, and let's take it to a small jump. Okay, so give us a bicep curls. So nice and easy, remember. Good, good, good. And shoulder press. Set so arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Pull those elbows in at the waist. Good, hitting through the shoulders. Well done. Four more, four, three, two. Let's take it to pet deck. Elbows in, remember, this isn't a pet deck. Pet deck. Squeezing through the chest. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Back to shoulder press. You ready? Good. We're going to take it into a tricep overhead. Are we ready after four? Four. Three. Two. Keep the arms up behind the head. That's it. Elbows nice and high. Keep those elbows in towards the ears. Try not to take them out to the side. Keep it close. Good. Hitting through the triceps. Four, three, two. Back to that raise. Arms out to the side. Good. We're going to take it into a low jack. Four, three, two. Low jack. Out. Legs bent. Good. Abs in tight. Well done. Front raise. Warming up through them shoulders. Good. Lat raise again. Four more, well done. Four, three, two. Front brace, good. Here we go, here we go in. Three, two, jogging on the spot. Good, let's get that heart rate up now. Twist through the lower half. Sit, good, good, good. Here's down, here's down. And heels to the bum. Sit, good. March it on the spot. We're going to take it down into our inch worm. So remember, come down, hands on the floor, roll out into your plank, and slowly roll back up. Let's just very slightly then roll up through the spot. And again, and again. Take that right hand up and bring it back. Left foot to left hand. Rotate up and back. Right foot to right hand. Good. Hit through that core. Keep that knee on the ankle. One more each side. And last one. And rotate. Remember, 
legs bent. Arms directly above the shoulder, not over the head, not over the belly. Back pushed into the floor, so tilt the pelvis. You're going to bring your arms down. If you can, try not to place the back of the arm on the floor. Don't have the arms out in a T, but at slight angles. The elbows are pointing diagonally away from you. So we're going to take it into 40 seconds. Are we ready? Four, three, two. Here we go. So push. Remember, slow and controlled. Tilt the pelvis. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Good. Remember, it's all about control. If you go too, too fast, you're using momentum to do the exercise. And we want to feel it through the chest. We want to feel those chest, shoulder, and tricep muscles working. How are we doing? Good, good, good. Come on, keep it going. on the way up. Good. Ten seconds to go. Almost there. And recover. Good. Stay on the floor. So we've got two more rounds of those. So we're going to go back into our chest press. Remember, elbows come out at a slight angle, not pointing out so they're in a T position. Tilt the pelvis. Okay. Five seconds back for our chest press for 40. Three, two, here we go. All the way up. Remember, keep the shoulders and the wrists in a nice straight line. Keep that wrist nice and straight. Protect that wrist. Abs in. Breathing out. Come on, use those chest muscles. Breathe. Looking good, everyone. How are we doing? Good. Remember, it's all about slow and control. Control it on the way down. Don't just let it fall down. You're working harder on the eccentric, which is this portion of the exercise. Good. And relax it there. Okay, because I've got a bad shoulder, I'm going to drop my weights for my flies. So remember, arms up, elbows bent. Elbows slightly bent. If you bring the arm out, try not to touch the floor. Squeeze as it comes back. Directly above the chest, not over the head. Are you ready? Three, two. Here we go, elbows slightly bent. You may find that the upper back arches very slightly. That's okay, but make sure the lower back is pushed into the floor. Squeeze. Nice, slow and controlled. Remember, it's all about getting correct technique. Abs in nice and tight, because we are still using our core muscles. That's it, good, breathe. Pull your belly button all the way in to your spine. Those hands directly above your chest. Don't let them come down by your belly or by your head. Five seconds to go. And recover it there for 30. Good. So one final set there. We're going to go back into our chest press and then back into our flies. So we may add a little bit onto this. We may do a couple of pulses on the end. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, and here we go. Push and down. Push. Remember, slow and controlled. One up, three on the way down. Push. Slow on the way down. That's it. Abs in. Concentrate on correct technique. Think about what muscle groups you're using. Focus on those and you'll get more muscle activation. Good. Keep breathing. Hopefully your chest is starting to feel it, especially through the front of the shoulders now. Ten 
seconds to go. Three, two, and relax it there. Good. Okay, last one for our fly. Are we ready? Okay, so arms up, keep that pelvis tilted, so you're tilting the pelvis up towards you, pushing that lower back into the floor. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, and here we go. Last set flies. Arms up and squeeze it in. Arms up and squeeze. Okay, keep those elbows off of the floor, and remember the elbows want to be slightly bent. Arms directly out to the side. Completely out in line with the shoulders. As it comes down, it's in line with that shoulder. Good. Squeezing through the chest on the way up. Remember, you want it nice and slow because if you haven't got heavy weights, the slower you do it, the more you're going to feel it. Five seconds. And we cover it there. Good. Okay, so slowly roll up. Grab a drink if you need it now. Okay, so. I'm going to kneel for this exercise, but you're going to stay standing just so I haven't got the head height. Okay, so we're going to do shoulder press, shoulder press, rotate, tricep. You can keep it narrow, you can keep it as a neutral hand or wide, neutral will be easier. Push behind, up and down. Now don't finish here, this is resting. Bring the dumbbells in line with your nose. 40 seconds, are we ready? Here we go. So, push, tricep, and down. Uh, push, elbows in, up, and down. Uh, push, up, and down. Uh, push. So keep those elbows in, lock the arm up. 10. How are we doing? Last one. And recover. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm starting to struggle as I'm not managing to get in and doing any exercise at the moment. So now we're going to do narrow. We're going to do narrow curl to here, rotate to here and down. Are we ready? Here we go. So up, 90, rotate here and down. Up, 90, rotate here and down. Abs in, good. Palm up and down. Remember to keep those elbows in at the waist. Keep it all nice and controlled. Here, Good, here and down. Here, good, here and down. Five seconds. Almost there. Last one. And recover. Well done. How are we doing? Good, 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 good. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Helen, if you're still watching. Okay, so shoulder, tricep, shoulder. Abs in nice and tight. Are we ready? Five, four. Abs in, chest lifted. Here we go. Shoulder, tricep. Push. Lock those arms up. Keep it going. Come on. You are still using your core. Seconds, come on. Last one. And recover. Woo! How are we doing? How are we doing? Second set, hammer curl, elbows locked in at the waist, squeezing through the bicep. So you're really hitting that bicep. Okay, are we ready? Five, four, three, here we go. Elbows in, stop at 90. Rotate, rotate, and back down. Up, stop, rotate, in, and back down. 
up, stop, rotate, in, and back down. How are we doing everyone? Elbows in, come on, feel those bicep muscles. 20 seconds to go. Keep the elbows in close to the ears. Don't make it a shoulder press. Okay, are we ready then? Last set. Here we go. Shoulder. Here. Push. Back nice and straight. Remember the shoulders go directly up, not forwards. Try not to press in between. Bring it to the dumbbells in line with the nose. 15 seconds. Come on. Ah, relax it there. Woo! Okay, grab a drink. Good, good, good. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Okay, so now we're going to take it into one arm row. So this is where you're going to use your chair or a bench or whatever you've got. So you're going to place left leg forward, left arm on your bench. You want a nice straight line. You're going to hold onto your dumbbell. Straight line, you're going to bring your arm up in a straight line. Elbow high, squeezing through the back of the shoulder and then you're going to drop it. When you drop, don't lower the shoulder and control the movement on the way down. So we're going to do one arm, 30 seconds and then change. Are we ready? Okay. One arm, one leg forwards, holding on. Back nice and straight. Three, two, let's go. Squeeze. Abs in nice and tight. Chest lifted. Hitting through the back of the shoulder. Hitting through the back. Chest lifted. Try not to arch through the upper back. Keep the chest up. Get that neutral alignment through that back. Elbow high. Straight line up and down. So the hand moves in a vertical line. Good. So it doesn't go backwards, it comes directly up. Lift it right up into your armpit. That's it. Good. And recover. Change sides. So I'm not going to use bench on this side. Or well, let's say I use this. Are we ready? Three, two, go. Lift. Control the movement on the way down, don't just let it drop. As I said, you work harder on the way down. Keep that chest lifted, maintain that nice and neutral alignment. Good. Lift and control. Make sure you're not rotating through the body. You don't want any rotation, so 20 seconds down. Two dumbbells now. Two dumbbells. I'm going to take it into an upright row. Are we ready? So up and all the way back down. Chest lifted. Hands in line. Just up to the chest. Imagine you're zipping up your toe. Lift. That's it. Good. Lift. Keep it going then. Good. So shoulders are back. Chest is lifted. Again, we're hitting up through that back. The trapezius. Rhomboids. Abs in nice and tight. 10 seconds. Good, good, good. How are we doing? Five seconds. And recover. Place one of those dumbbells back down. Okay, so back to our one arm row. Are we ready? So leg forwards, arm in position. Here we go. Driving it up. Arm moves up in a vertical line up and down. Chest is lifted, abs are pulled in nice and tight. 
back is in a nice neutral position. Don't drop the arm on the way back down. Squeeze. Good. 20 seconds to go. That's it, come on. Use that arm. You're hitting three or five steps as well when you're doing this exercise. It's why we call it compound exercise. You're hitting more than one muscle group. So it's good exercise for weight loss. And recover. Change arms. Again, nice neutral position. Hand down. Go on, up there, leap in. Okay, are we ready then? Three, two, go. Lift. Lift. That's it, good, good, good. Well done. Nice and controlled. Remember, nice and neutral spine. Driving up through the arm. Driving up through the arm. Hitting through that back. Through the bicep. You're still using your core. That's what's keeping your body in a nice position. So abs in nice and tight. 10 seconds to go. Remember, don't drop that shoulder on the way down. Keep it neutral. And recover. Okay, back into upright rows. Hello, shake monkey. Did you want to see your mom? Are we ready then? Three, two, off we go. That's it. Straight up. We're zipping up your coat. So keep those dumbbells close to the body. Elbows go out to the side. Hands down. Good. Palms in. That's it, well done. Abs in nice and tight. Good, good, good. Remember, don't lean forward. And if you're doing that, then the weight is too heavy and you are using your lower back muscles and you're going to end up causing yourself some injury. It's all coming from the upper body, not the lower back. Five seconds to go. Good, good, good. And relax it there. Grab a quick drink. Quick recovery. Okay, so we've got one more set each. One upright arm row, left and right side, back into uprights. Okay, are we ready then? Last final set. One leg forward, shoulders back, dent round, neutral position, vertical line. Three, two, here we go. Lift. Control. Don't rotate the body. Notice it, my shoulder is still in the same position. I've got a neutral spine, so it's in a nice straight position. 20 seconds. Come on, use that bicep muscle. Squeezing through the back. Concentrate on the muscles that you're using. 10 seconds. That's it, good. Five seconds. And relax it there. Well done, let's turn around, last final set. Okay, opposite leg forward to your hand. Remember, neutral spine, chest lifted. Are we ready? Here we go, last 40 seconds. So remember, slow and controlled on the way down. This is the concentric, the contraction. This is eccentric. So you're working just as hard when you lower that weight down. If you just let gravity pull it down, you're not using your muscles so effectively because you're controlling the movement on the way down and you're still working that muscle. So good. 10 seconds. As I said, slow and controlled. Good. Five seconds. And relax it there. Okay, last one then. Are we ready? Last set. And here we go. Remember, chest lifted. Don't do this. We don't want to see any of this. Shoulders back. Zipping it up. A coat so those dumbbells are close into your body. Abs are in nice and tight. Chest is lifted. Again, this is hitting the shoulders and the upper back. Good. We've got 20 seconds to go. You're good. Come on, 15. Keep working. So, come on. Five seconds. 
and well done, relax it there. Okay, good, good, good. So, grab a drink. How are we doing? Okay, so my last little bit to finish. Okay, so we've got our burpees to finish with then. So, we're gonna start with 12, see how far down we can get in five minutes or so. So we're gonna do 12 burpees, then we're gonna rest. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. So your easy burpees come down, walk out into a plank, roll up through the spine. Your easy version, come down, walk out into a plank, roll up through the spine. And your harder one is into a jump. So what's that? Three, four, five. Shoulders over the wrist, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, good. 15 seconds recovery, 15 to 20. Next round is 11. Okay, are we ready? Five, four, three, two. Let's go, 11. One, two, hands in. Three, good, roll up through the spine. Four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, one more, and roll up, eleven, okay, next set, ten, okay, are we ready, five, Four. Let's go. One. Shoulders over the wrist. Two. Keep in that plank position. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Remember the walkout is the easy version. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep the legs moving. Nine for our next set. Three, two, go. Nine, eight, seven, come on, come on. Six, five, four, Two, one, what are we on now? Eight, are we ready? Three, two, let's go for eight. Eight, roll up through the spine, seven, six, five, Four, three, come on, two, one, good, seven. Hope I'm counting right. You know what my counting's like? Five seconds, three, two, go, seven, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, six left, six left, come on, come on, five seconds, here we go, six,
Two more. Chest lifted. Last one. And recover. Fours. Remember, shoulder over wrist. You can walk it out if you need to. Five seconds. Four left. It's getting quicker. Three. Two. Let's go. Come on. Four. Chest lifted. Roll out. Three. Roll up through the spine. Two. One more. Threes. We're nearly there. Five. Four. Three. Three. Let's go. Come on. One. Abs in. Two. Three. Two left. Two left. Two left. Five seconds. Come on. Two. Let's go. One more. One to go. Are we ready? Three, two, and go. And woohoo! Well done, everybody. Woo! Okay, grab that drink. Excellent stuff. Okay, just do a nice, easy toe tap in front. Well done. Woo! Are we all good? Nice, easy biceps. So we're bringing the heart rate back down now. So hopefully your heart rate will start to slow. Absolutely nice and tight. Tap it right and left. Good, keep it small. Bringing the heart rate nice and low. Good. Hope you enjoyed that. So that was Monday morning's upper body. Now remember, all these are saved on Motivation Fitness Facebook page. So anytime you want to go back, redo them, then feel free. The behind. Knee on the ankle. Good, nice and small. That's it, good. Okay, now we're going to hold this into a stretch after eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And take your left leg back. Back leg straight, front knee on the ankle. Take your left arm, right arm, push it all the way back. So you're stretching out your tricep. Now remember, you want your front knee over the ankle, back leg heel down. Both feet facing forwards, straight line from your head, bum to heel. So that you're getting a stretch through that calf muscle. If you're not feeling it, lean further forwards. Don't just lean that way, lean from the whole of the leg. So the body stays nice and straight. Keep the elbow pushed up nice and high. Good. Stay there, both feet forwards, remember, not out to the side that you really get that stretch and that calf muscle must be on the floor. Good, now take that arm across and pull it through. Remember, try not to hold on to any joints. So above, below, the elbow and the wrist. Don't just hold it, make sure you feel it through that shoulder. Keep breathing. Four, three, and well done. Change legs, bring the opposite leg. Front leg is now bent, both feet are forwards. Back leg is straight, this arm comes up and over. Remember to lean forwards to increase that stretch. So we have gone over, slightly over 30 minutes. Feel the tricep being stretched out as well. Four more. Take that same arm across, remember try not to hold into any joints. Keep holding it there, good, good, good. Four, three. And relax. Now bring your back leg just behind the, your front foot. Back leg is bent, front leg is now straight. Support the weight on those thighs. Keep the head up. Push your bum backwards and sit down into it. Don't drop the head. Keep the head above the heart. Notice a nice neutral line in my spine. Sit right back into it. Push that bum right back. You'll feel it all the way through this hamstring. You can have the toe up or down. Your choice. Hold it there. Three, two, roll up through the spine. Change legs. So opposite leg straight, opposite leg bent. Sit down into it. Keep that chest lifted, nice neutral spine. Feel it through here. Abs in tight still. Remember, maintain good posture. Sit, make sure you get that good posture. Supporting the weight, not on the knees, on the bent thighs. Four, 
and roll up. Okay, now bring your back leg into your bum, knees together, tilt the pelvis. This leg is bent, if you keep the knees together, hold the upper balance, hold the wall. But if you tilt this pelvis, you'll feel it a lot more through here rather than pulling on that knee. Make sure this leg stays bent, don't lock the knee out. And again, keep that core nice and tight. change, place that foot to the floor, take the opposite leg into the earth, make sure this leg is bent, tilt this pelvis, keep those knees together, feel it in that quad, hold the if you need to for balance, or take the arm out, whatever you feel most comfortable, or hold onto the wall, whatever you feel you need to do, feel good, hold it there, abs in, four more, four, three, and relax, good, so feet your width apart, take the arms behind, hold them to the hands, now lift those arms up, push that chest out so that you're stretching all the way up through those chest muscles and through the front of the shoulder, remember those legs always stay slightly bent, don't ever lock them back, push that chest out, come on, feel it through the front of the shoulders and that chest, four, three, and relax, take those arms out, push against the wall, so you're feeling it through that tricep, that's it, come on, palms up, push. That's it, good, 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 good. Keep pushing. Four, three, two. And relax it there. Now take the arms out in front, drop your chin to your chest, round the upper back, so that it's stretching out through the upper back. That's it, good, drop that chin on the chest. Stretch those arms out. Four more, four, and relax it there, and just one for the abs, oops, take it up, stretch, bring it back down, and one more time, take it up, stretch, and well done, give yourselves a round of applause, thank you for all those that tuned in and watched me, and hope to see you on a Wednesday, take it easy, and enjoy your day. Bye.